Hey, we give you the facts. It's not what you think. Popeye News Link. Young King. One yard. Bless. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. Greetings. Greetings, viewers and subscribers. PNL Patreon family. Big up on yourself. And remember that if you are not yet a member of the PNL Patreon family, click on the link in the description below. Go over to Patreon and sign up. Remember that over on Patreon, we show some exclusive contents that we cannot show on YouTube. Also, being a part of the PNL Patreon family is your way of supporting this channel on a monthly basis. PNL Patreon family, enough respect. So, please remember that this Saturday, February 11, all road leads to Farm District in the parish of Westmoreland. Please go out and support the fundraising cookout and fun day in aid of young Jamari Smith. The event will be starting at 10 o'clock in the morning. Farm is on the main road between Belmont and White House. Now, once you enter Farm, you cannot miss it. It will be held at a spacious venue. For the long time folks, you remember where Ocean Edge that was operated by Natty One used to be? Well, it will be held right there. Parents, carry the kids and let them go and have fun. There will be bounce about, trampoline, popcorn machine, you name it. If you want to purchase a ticket, just ask one of the taxi drivers who apply the White House to Savannah Lamar route or any member of the transporter crew. Go out and support the event. It's for a worthy cause. And talking about taxi drivers, me I got born a small fire on summer owner right now. On Friday, February 3, I carried a story and I told you that the road between Lucy and Montego Bay were blocked at Unity Hall and Reading in the parish of St. James as well as Hopewell and Flint River in the parish of Anova. I also told you that apart from blocking the road, fire was lit at three of the blockages at Unity Hall, Flint River and Great River. The fire, it caused damage to the road surface. I also told you that no one was seen near to the blockages and the reason for the roadblock was not known. Well, yesterday, we got a better understanding as to who blocked the roads and why it was blocked. Yesterday morning, Monday, February 6, 2023, at minutes to 5 o'clock, transport operators to include taxi and bus drivers. They cut down trees and used them to block the left lane of the main road at Unity Hall, heading towards Montego Bay. They were protesting against the new Road Traffic Act and they were also saying that they wanted more time to deal with their outstanding tickets. At minutes to 6 o'clock, the said transport operators, they went to Round Hill and Hopewell in the parish of Anova where they used old refrigerators, sections of old motor vehicles, old tires, pieces of wood and other debris to block the road. These blockages, they were eventually cleared by the police and fire personnel as well as JDF soldiers. We are also learning that several transport operators they also withdrew their services. Now, <coughs> taxi and bus drivers, whilst I understand your plight, let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. When you light fire in the road and a few months' time, you start to see some big patrols in the road. What you going to do? Demonstrate again? Say you know one road? That sound like common sense to you? No, man. That sound stupid to me. You see why government no have no respect for you know? When nurses, firemen, teachers, or police are demanding anything from the government, you see them go out there and block the road and light fire? Why you believe say you have to trample on my rights because of your plight? You make it look like taxi and bus business, a bugoyaga business. I cannot support the burning of the roads at all. And taxi and bus drivers, if you're not listening to this in our vehicle right now, and me know, you know, <laughs> me know, some of you I got cuss and talk about the boy, papa, I want people in chat too much. But guess what happened? <laughs> guess what happened? That's a few business. 
them say common sense, no common. How do you burn up the road? How do you light fire in the road? The same road. The same road, you know? What you earn on a living alpha? Eh? That sound fool fool to me. Remember me tell you no. This next incident, it took place early yesterday morning. Monday, February 6th, 2023, minutes after 12 midnight. It took place along the Ramble Main Road in the parish of Anova. So, this is what we are learning. A team of police officers, they were carrying out an operation along the Ramble Main Road when they saw a motorcycle with two men aboard approaching. The police officers, they signaled the bike to stop. The bike rider, he obeyed and stopped. But as the police were walking towards them, the bike rider, he jumped off the bike and ran off. The police, they chased him. And we are told that he dropped a black Nautica one-strap bag. And he managed to elude the police in the dark. The bag, it was picked up and searched by the police. And bingo, one black and chrome Ruger point. 4.5 pistol, affixed with a magazine containing 7 rounds of .45 cartridges were found in the bag. The Pelian, who was on the bike, we are told that he's called Najee and he's said to be in his early 20s. Both Najee and the bike, a grey Warhawk motorcycle, they were taken into police custody. We are told that the guy who escaped from the police, he is well known by the police. Hanover police, enough respect. Job well done. Now, in this next story, this one took place late Sunday night, February 5, 2023, almost 12 midnight. It took place at Rita's Bar at Martha Bray in the parish of Trelawney. Now, this is a bar, but we are told that the female operator of the bar, she's a trying woman. Apart from selling liquor, she also sells a lot of other stuffs to include cologne and jewelry inside of the bar. We are told that Sunday, well, over the weekend, was a very good weekend for her in terms of sales. The place, it was very busy. Late Sunday night, she was in the process of closing up when three hoodlums entered the bar. Two of them brandished guns and shook down this hard-working trying female who we are told is in her mid-30s. The hoodlums, they then robbed this female of the weekend sales. We are told that it amounted to over 1.6 million Jamaican dollars in cash. They also stole a quantity of jewelry and cologne valued at over 200,000 Jamaican dollars. The hoodlums, they then made good their escape. Now, <laughs> boy, may I tell you, you know, here is a trying lady and these hoodlums, Sad indeed. So, let me ask you something. <laughs> let me ask you something. Have you hit on the love button as yet? If you have not yet done so, remember to do it. Also, if you are over here watching our videos and you have not yet subscribed, hit on the subscribe button. As also, hit on the notification bell. Then click all so that whenever we drop a new video, you will be the first to be notified. So, the last incident I just told you about. Hoodlums, they went to a bar at minutes to 12 midnight. Their aim was to rob. This incident I'm going to be telling you about. Hoodlums went to a bar in broad daylight and their intention was to kill. This one took place at Danisha's Sports Bar at Roamton District in the Antrovy Police area in the parish of St. James. It took place yesterday afternoon, Monday, February 6, 2023. About 3 o'clock. Now, this is what we are learning. A man, his name is Sheldon Gold. Gold is spelled G-O-U-L-D. He is 38 years old and he was living at McFarca District in the Roamton area of St. James. Sheldon, it is said that he had just left out of his house and he went to Danisha's sports bar. He was in the bar when a blue Toyota Voxy drove up and stopped. Hoodlums came out of the Voxy, stepped up to Sheldon, brandished guns and opened gunfire at him. The hoodlums, they then exited the bar, jumped into the Voxy and made good their escape. It was then realized that Sheldon, he was shot. He received gunshot wounds to his face and his upper body. 
Citizens of the area, they rushed Sheldon to the Cornwall Regional Hospital, but it was too late. He was pronounced D.E.A.D. on arrival. The police were informed and when they processed this crime scene, four 9mm pen shells were recovered from the scene. The mayhem continues. Blessed love, everybody. Tell a friend, for tell a friend, for tell a friend about Popeye News Link and PNL Blog TV. Like, subscribe, and share. Quick silver sin. If we just unite, what a country this will be. If we just unite, Jamaica live in unity. If we just unite, what a country this will be.